I saw something on Instagram where there was a publicist that was advertising like $75 for a month of PR. And all these publicists were talking bad about her and putting her down. And, and I said to myself, that is extremely below rate. And that does make what we do seem cheap, but I don't know her situation and she might've needed to pay a bill that month and that might've paid her bill. Um, I think that you have to look at what the market says. And one of my mentors, um, a manager that I work with here a lot, told me a few years ago when I was at a transition place, he said, Crystal, you need to always know your value. And that's important. I think that you have to look at the market, you have to know what you bring, and then you have to make an educated decision. And I think that talking to people, doing your research, I don't know how many people call me and say, well, how much should I charge? Did you look that up? Did you go to, you can go to Google. When I first started, we didn't have Google. <laughs> you know, I had to like research really, but you can go on Google and, and, and see what entertainment publicists or, you know, even a corporate PR makes. And, then you, and usually when they give you a breakdown, they'll explain the level of years of experience and all those things. So I think that you should be somewhere in the market of what is available in that place. What you can earn here in Atlanta is very different than what PR charges in New York. Um, the, the economy is different. So I hear people constantly bad talking Atlanta. Well, Atlanta PR, don't do this and don't do that. And I, I refuse to get involved in that negativity. But realistically, the cost of living here is so different from New York. You can get gas cheaper here <laughs> than in New York. You can get a house much cheaper here than in New York. So it makes sense that your rates here would be cheaper than they would be in, in New York, even in LA. Again, I can't afford the house that I have here in LA. I don't know where I would live <laughs> if I was in LA with the salary that I have. So you have, to, you have to make sure that you're making good decisions that are based on reality and not based on what someone else says. And then as you start to grow, now what I charge now is very different than what I charged when I first started. Um, but that's because I have the experience and I know this is where I should be. But I'm always researching and looking at what you know, the market value is and then making sure that I add my own value to that.